In this video, I'm going to show you how to dive into your niche and your product choices a little deeper so you know exactly what keywords to hit for all your traffic content that's going to be coming up later in the program. Definitely organize your, your plan of attack so you have a better chance of making that big money and getting all that traffic coming in sooner than later. The first thing we need to do to dive deeper into our niche is to do the, the research. Um, you've already done the niche research to see how, if it's going to be lucrative or not. Now you want to break it down into quality categories, kind of split the site you're going to create, plan ahead, think about how your content's going to break down. I think one of the best ways to do this is by creating a mind map. Um, there's lots of free mind map tools out there, free mind. Uh, I think it's freemind.com, maybe .net, uh, that offers some software for a free mind map tool. Um, and really what you want to think about is what is your entire site about? Now, just out of kind of the top of my head, for this example, we're going to do a breakdown of constipation remedies. Um, you know, this is a very good niche. It's a problem people have, constipation. And offering a solution to that problem is how you're going to make money. There's lots of good products out there, I'm sure, probably in ClickBank, digital books, ebooks, um, medicines, uh, you know, physical products, the whole deal for constipation uh, remedies. So what we want to do is break down what constipation remedy to, remedies is. Think about all the things that constipation remedies would be. And one good way to do that is just to go ahead and do the keyword research. I mean, off the top of our head, we know that there's going to be constipation symptoms. Um, you know, that's going to be a category because you want to tell people about constipation, tell them about what they're going through. Uh, the next section, of course, would be treatment. Um, and different niches are going to have different categories uh, depending on what you're targeting. Think about how you want your website to flow. I like to think about a good quality niche website, especially if you're doing uh, selling digital products or sell, building a list on a certain subject, is to offer all, this, all the quality information in a nice organized manner on the website so that it, it properly leads them to your list. Uh, the, the pages that you write on your website and not the blog posts and things like that, but the actual website content that's going to be there for the long term, the pillar articles as they call them, um, those, as long as you have those in a nice organized fashion that lead towards your squeeze page or your sales funnel, you, you're going to do well. I mean, that's going to have great long term results, and that's how I like to plan my websites. That's exactly what we're doing here, is thinking of how. Um, we can bring interested people in, give them enough information to learn about their problem, um, and lead them into how to fix it, and show, you showing them how to fix it. So first off, what we have is, okay, constipation remedies. First thing we want to do, of course, is change to exact match type. That's just so we get a clear understanding. Um, and then next thing is I like to do is change it to 100 uh, 100 results instead of 50. Alright, and just kind of looking through here, you can already see some good choices. Home constipation remedy is only getting 170, but still, that's uh, a different niche. Constipation remedies for dogs, that could be a good category or website on its own if it get more than 110 searches. But after setting our exact searches, uh, match searches, and then the 100 um, selection here, what we want to do is organize it from uh, global monthly searches descending down so we can get the idea of what's getting searched the most. I'm sorry if my words sound a little jumbled. It is about 2, 2 o'clock, 1.30 there. All right. IBS comes up first. You know, that's irritable bowel syndrome. Um, that's not exactly what we're talking about. Go down through the, the results you get and see what the largest um, 
ser search keywords are that are related to constipation remedies. Now try and think of constipation remedies as your main topic. So you don't want keywords for categories that are the exact same thing. You want to kind of to explain what constipation remedies you have. So as we go down, we can let's see what we can find here to make maybe good categories. You can do a good three to seven categories is usually a good idea. Here we are, like I said, constipation symptoms. That's a great starter uh, category because that's exactly anyone who's getting constipation wants to know and make sure it is, uh, especially the new people trying to find that information. That's getting almost 15,000 global searches a, uh, a month. So that's one category we got broken down. Let's look farther. We've got home remedies for constipation. That's a great category. We'll go ahead and star these up. That gets 8,000 searches. Um, you can do a lot of these, these major categories that you're doing. You want to think about how you can break those down farther. You want these categories, and that's why we're looking at the ones getting the most searches right now, because these are the ones that probably can be broken down into multiple articles and multiple uh, pages itself. Constipation symptoms could be five to ten articles itself on each symptom, or you know the basic uh, symptoms that you see, how to uh, ease the pain, and different things like that. Home remedies, of course, could be you know five to ten different home remedies. Um, let's see what else we got. Constipation in children. That could be a whole uh, category itself where you just talk about helping children with constipation. Constipation in babies, that's pretty much the same thing as children, but could be the same deal. Chronic constipation. A decent category all in itself. Got to get four or five. Constipation home remedies. We've already got the home remedy for constipation, so there's no need to, to select the same same type of uh, topic for another keyword. You want to double up. This constipation home remedies could just be a keyword you target underneath the previous uh, keyword home remedies for constipation because it gets searched more. So maybe you want to target that a little bit easier. See what else we got here. Constipation during pregnancy. That's a great little, could be a whole site itself. How to remedy constipation during pregnancy. 5,000 searches. Severe constipation, that'd be under chronic. Symptoms of constipation, newborn constipation, dog constipation. There's our dog constipation. So there we have constipation remedies. One, two, three, four five, six categories right there that are getting great searches. So now what I want to do is I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to copy down all these different categories, these, these uh, keywords. I'm going to download them into a uh, Excel worksheet and uh, add them to my my uh, report. All right, we have my, our simple Excel worksheet and pretty much the information I want to know is the keyword itself, uh, the global uh, monthly searches, exact monthly searches, the local uh, exact monthly searches, and the average cost per click. And this can kind of give me the idea of exactly what I'm going to, what use I'm going to get out of the keyword, and how to break it down correctly. So the key category keywords we just downloaded, we can just go ahead and um, add them into our Excel worksheet here. So I like to make sure it has, you know, nicely formatted right now. All the, the content's very small. We'll go, we'll just do this. Make it a little bigger, 14. Make the headline bold. Give us some space. Keywords are sometimes really big. 
give yourself an idea of what you're looking at here. And now when you have it in these Excel worksheets, you can always um, organize and things like that, which I'm going to show you. Now, these are our, our different categories, and these are really what all the the content you'll be writing, creating, is going to be based on for your site. That's how you want it broken down. It's kind of like in your uh, mind map. I'm going to show you probably later a little breakdown. It's uh, constipation remedies is going to be in the middle. And then surrounding it are the topics, constipation symptoms, home remedies for constipation, constipation children, chronic constipation, constipation during pregnancy, and dog constipation. And now you're just going to have articles and videos and everything talking about and targeting towards these um, different category keywords. So what you want to do is find as many quality category subcategory keywords to, that fit in this niche or in this sub niche. So first what we're going to do is grab constipation symptoms. Go back to our keyword tool and search as many keywords that are related to constipation symptoms as possible. Now once we've done that, we'll be able to have a good idea of what topics to target for each category and each uh, website. This way you'll know exactly how to structure it. So allow me a few minutes and I'll go through um, and record all this data, find as many keywords in each category as possible, click the star and the select box next to it, download all these keywords, put them into different categories, and then I'll plan my site accordingly. So hold on just a few minutes and I'll be right back. All right, here is the Excel worksheet with all the uh, the niche categories broken down. Um, I really only found about 10, 15 uh, good keywords per category. That's really what I'm going to need to start off with. Now, there are hundreds of keywords out there for each category in, these, in a good niche. Um, and this, these keywords can kind of constantly give you an idea of what you should write your content about. Um, let's say for you know the whole website we're talking about, we do the mock website is constipation remedies. So every one of these keywords could possibly be an article you could write about for search engine traffic, um, or just for related content to help with that traffic and with the the search engines as well. So. As you can see, it's broken down. We kind of broke it down. The, the bold is the categories I'm going to be using for the site. Um, constipation remedy is, of course, the main one. Constipation treatment, you know, that's kind of going to be the same thing as remedies, but it's going to be directly focused on the treatment. Um, what is con constipation? As you can see in this category, at first we had constipation symptoms because it had the most searches. Now, what is constipation kind of summarizes that category better than con can eh, constipation symptoms um, because what as you're going to see how we broke it down it's a little bit more about just symptoms it's uh, you know what causes it what is it and what are the symptoms um, so that the categories you really want to just like the website uh, the main niche you want it to encompass uh, all the pages related to it directly related to it and under it so the next category is home remedies for constipation, uh, constipation children uh, during pregnancy, and dog constipation. There were a couple other categories you could go with. This is just kind of good starter layout. And now what you're going to do is think about your site broken down, uh, just like if you're going to be creating the content. And what I like to do, like I said before, is create a mind map. And what I've done is already, I've already created a mind map here. Um, broken it down for you and just chose four, three, four ca uh, keywords under each category research we did from the Excel worksheet. And this, this is kind of a, a site layout of how you could have it set up. Constipation Remedies here would be your homepage. Let's say constipationremedies.com. 
Um, the nav bar would have six links to all six of your categories. And then in these page, these each of these pages could have content uh, optimized for, let's say, this keyword, constipation treatment, um, what is constipation. And then they could be linking to, to the pages and blog posts and the videos that are related to that category. So for constipation treatment, you know, prune juice for constipation, constipation remedies for adults. Um, and, and these can be broken down uh, hugely. The uh, internet biz masters I use, the mind map I have for that is a couple hundred different keywords just broken down um, for content I want to create for that site. So this is how you can really plan out your attack. Um, think about the products you're going to be selling. For this, let's say if uh, my example for constipation remedies, I would more than likely want to build a list uh, trying to help people relieve constipation. And then also in that list, sell ebooks, digital products, maybe um, you know some drugs or anything we can find that's going to convert well. So this is how you break down your niche, uh, do the research, and really find out how you want to attack it. And uh, I suggest you do it for every niche that you're getting involved with, every website you're going to create, because pretty much from this point on, um, I know exactly what needs to be done. Right here I have, you know, there's about 30, 25 um, articles right here on the mind map that need to be created. And this gives me my path on how I should set them up. Um, and it's it's a great way just to get things going rolling and on a nice organized schedule take this information from this video go out dive into your niche deeper make your organized plan create your mind map and now you know exactly what content what keywords need to be nailed over the next 60 days when you follow the traffic bombshell plan